is Junin from the Binary Lab. I want to give you guys a trading tip, all right? So many of you guys uh, saw my previous video about how to, you know, rework your time frames to adapt to any market, even if it's slow. Because if you adapt your time frames correctly, you can make the market look just like what you love to trade. So for instance, uh, this just to quickly refresh, you can find more about that in the previous video. For example, if you look at the one minute chart and you find the price action is like garbage, okay, then all you need to do is like, for example, for this one, I'm going to switch it to like a 15 and you can instantly see uh, how this looks a lot better and more appealing to trade. Now, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the signals inside of pocket option, okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you like for instance, we're looking at the UK brand. This is actually one of my favorites for the OTC. And one of the things that I love about trading on these higher time frames anyway is that most people do not trade on these time frames. And as a result, because they do not trade on these time frames, I feel that the market is less manipulated by the, the, the regular trading that happens. So you could find that if you're trading, you know, a lot of one minute, a lot of two minute chart and you're struggling because of the way the OTC market operates, all right? There's a, I have another video on that, you can watch it. But I personally find that when I trade these time frames, it's actually fairly easy to win, even though it's the OTC, which is supposedly off the counter. So um, basically, what you need to do is that I, I personally like to recommend if you work with like M10, M15, M30, these are the ones that I'm having a lot of success with. The M5, I also have success, but the thing is that, you know, I, I, it really depends on the market and these markets right now are kind of slow. So in order to basically set the chart to the correct time frame, watch my previous video, but now that you're already into this, uh, into this current video, basically here's the thing, okay? So uh, without having to teach you about the indicators, because that's what I actually do in my more advanced group, which you can join as well, but uh, for our purposes, we're gonna keep things very, very simple. Uh, we want it to stretch the Bollinger Band. So these are the Bollinger Bands and you can actually add the Bollinger Bands from here. So just go to the Indicators tab and then uh, go on to the one that says Bollinger Bands and just add that, okay? Bollinger Bands, we use the settings of 20 and 2. So 20 and deviation 2. This is the settings that we use and these are the ones that I already have on the chart. So when we take an uh, entry, it has to be, you know, the next candle. So uh, in this case, the next candle is coming out on the half hour because this is a 15 minutes chart. So we're looking at, now it's 1126, we're looking at 1130. Okay, 1130 is the next candle and I'm looking for it to stretch the Bollinger Band to close outside, preferably. So something like this. Um, there are two things I expect, okay, either for it to, to get to this high or to, you know, get, get to that point. So there are two different entries I'm looking at. Okay, so this entry, it may win, may lose, but another one here is a lot more higher probability. So uh, money management, I'll discuss it in the next video, but let's say for now, we're looking for the price to hit a recent high and to drop off from that. So if it gets to this level, and then um, what I want to have you look out for on the commodities, uh, sorry, in the signals area, is for it to go from a one green up into a two red down, okay? So when this hits that point, wait for the first five to 10 seconds of that bar. Um, actually, sorry, uh, because it's a 15 minute chart, you can watch the entire first minute, but I usually tend to make my decision within the first 30 seconds. If the first 30 seconds, the price is stalling to make any higher highs, it's just stalling and you know, like uh, it's just sideways for, the, for 30 seconds of the first minute. You know, and I see that it goes from a green, a green arrow up to a two red arrow down. I will take my entry, and my entry is going to be for two bars expiry. So this is a 15 minutes chart. I take a 30 minutes expiry. So the way we set that expiry is over here. So uh, over here we set that oh, from here. So if it's if it's a different timing, just hit the plus button until you get a 30 minutes. Okay, and this is the expiry we're going to take. And however, if you are doing a uh, if it's an M10, if it's an M10, I will do, um, you know, a 15 minute, because there's no 20 minute, I'll do a 15 minute expiry. If it is a five minutes chart, I will do, you know, a 10 minutes expiry, okay? 
So let's just take a look over here. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the time frame over here because now we're on this page. So this is the signals. All right, so this is the signals tab, and uh, I'm going to scroll down to UK Brent. This is a one up, okay, and we don't have this uh, two down yet. So, uh, but let's say for this one here, I mean, there's two, uh, there's too many small bars, okay, there's too many small bars here. So therefore, I would rather just clean it out to a higher time frame where I can see, you know, a good price extension, which there isn't yet. So uh, this does not meet my criteria yet, but this is getting there. So for the benefits of this video, I'm just going to switch to a different, a different pair and maybe I can find something that fits my criteria, okay? So just on the timing, uh, I, I'm going to help you out a little bit with this. This is a shitty, a, a fairly shitty kind of a graph because the bars are all very small. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to change the timing. I think, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, H1 is going to look good. No, H1 still does not look good on H4. Still does not look good, I'm going to go to D1. Okay, so this does not look good at all. I'm not going to touch it. All right, so I, I, I get what, are you getting what I'm saying? So basically, I would change the time frame until it looks something like this, which I'm used to trading. I mean, most of you guys, uh, you, you're already doing a lot of reversal training because you probably learned about reversal trainings through forums and blah, blah, blah. So uh, this is like uh, an easy method you can use for reversals using the free signals of pocket option. So just a quick recap, get it to the correct time frame where it looks right. Okay, um, and then you know go from go over to the signals tab, select the correct time frame that you're looking at. Okay, so it's, it has to be the same one that you're looking at. If it's like a 15 minutes chart, go in the 15, and then um, follow it from uh, you know that direction. If it's going down, follow it from that direction to the two arrow up. One the act one arrow this way to two arrows the other way, and then the expiry is going to be two bars expiry. So M10, you have M15, just a round down. Okay, if it's a M15, M, it's a, a 30 minute expiry. If it's a 5 minute chart, it's a 10 minute expiry. But you do need to check your charts to make sure that they look right. Okay, so that's all for now in this video. If you have any questions, leave them, uh, leave them down below on, on 